In the Kickstarter 3 for the Spectrum Next, it mentions that you can create your own classics using full C support. And there's a screenshot showing how you can do this using the ZNC C compiler. In this video, I'm going to take a look at that compiler and see if I can get one of the example pieces of code to run. So the ZNC compiler is on HIO account. There's a few tools that you can download. Text editor, a compiler, and an assembler are the main ones. So, uh, and most of these are held individually on GitHub. So this is the assembler. Each piece, piece of software has got its own instructions, which you can have a look through. That you can download all all the different pieces, of, all four binary components uh, as a zip file, and then extract that onto your next. Uh, there's two stages in compilation. You, you run .znc to compile the uh, C code, and then you run .asm to convert the assembly into binary. So if I download the ZNC file and then copy it into my image um, for C-spec, I'm going to try and do this on C-spec um, just for ease of recording. Um, so you need to run, once you've, once you've uploaded it onto C-spec, you need to run a dot and unzip command. So what I'm going to do is run a, a little batch file to copy the znc.zip file up into my C-spec image. Um, so I'll just put it in the root folder. So then going into C-spec and going into the, into the browser, down at the bottom I should be able to see that znc.zip file which is there. Um, so then if I try go to the command line and try and unzip the file. So it's dot unzip dash o and then the file name. And it's saying there's no such command unzip. So if I jump onto Copilot and just ask about where this unzip file comes from, why, why I don't have it in C spec. So that comes back with a, a few potential causes. Um, but the top one is that the unzip command might actually be missing. So if I just have a look in my if I have a look on my C spec directory, I can see that there is no unzip file, but I do have an unzip in my Spectrum Next um, copy that I've taken off the next when it when it arrived. So I can copy that unzip file up to the dot command on C spec. So if I run that um, I should now see that file down at the bottom um, in C spec. So that's now there. Uh, so I should be able to use it. So if I try and run that again, we'll see what happens. So it's inflated the ASM, the Z, ZNC, and then a bunch of um, C examples which go into a folder Z dev. So if we're looking there I can see that I've got some C, uh, C examples in the ZNC format. So j just jumping back onto the HIO page um, it says four binary components will be installed as dot commands uh, and there's a, a, a Z dev directory in the root. There is a file zndemo.bass um, but I wasn't able to get that to run so I'll, I'll skip that and just go on to trying to compile the code. So the first example is bounce.znc so I'll try and compile that C file to start with. So jumping into the command line get to the right folder first to do this 
and then ZNC, um, it just if I just type that on its own, it tells me how to use ZNC. So dot ZNC and then the actual file name, which is bounce.zNC. So dot ZNC and then the file name bounce dot ZNC. So it's compiled that OK. Um, it's pulled in another file, io.znc as well. Um, and then if I try and run the assembler.asm on the generated ASM file, it's it's run it's run that OK and it's created that. Um, so I can see that I've got bounce.asm and bounce.dot, so I can try and run that. And then the program started up and there is a star character bouncing around the screen with the uh, background change, with the margins changing. So that has worked. So apart from the pain of getting the dot commands onto a C-spec, it wasn't too bad really. Um, so supposing I want to look at the C file in C-spec, um, you can use the dot view command. But when I tried that, um, I don't have the view command in my C spec, um, so that's not that's not in the dot folder, and but the in my there is also um, a dot command ed. So if I copy that up um, to C spec, um, I should be able to try and use that, even though, though I've never I've not actually used it before. But um, so that's now been dropped onto the bottom of my dot commands. So if I try dot .ed, that takes me into that. Um, it's a beta, but all I want to do is look at the code, so that should be fine. And then H is for, he for help. So if I do dot .ed, and then I want to load the bounce um, ZNC file, so L bounce.zNC. And that's loaded it. And then help again just to see how to actually look at it. So you list a program using the p command. Um, so p, and then I can see the C code. It's a long time since I've done any C, but it's just about readable. And there's also some assembler in the middle of that up one t on the line 110. Um, so you can embed a bit of assembler in there if you want to. Uh, and then just jumping back onto the HIO page he's listed the um, bouncing ball um, file so you can have a look at that there that's getting a C example working with the ZNC compiler wasn't too painful um, so that could be a way forward if you're interested in C thanks for watching